All right, give me a beat. On today's episode, what, what? We talk about Instagram followers, daycares, and web browsers. Welcome to another episode of Tip for Tip, where you ask your marketing question in exchange for a tip in your industry. My name is Aaron. And my name is Christian. And today we have Krista from Kids Art Kids. We're relaunching our Instagram page, and we need to know what is the best way to engage our audience. Uh, I think my number one tip for relaunching your Instagram and getting the most followers and engagement uh, would be to go out and talk to people. Not talk to people, but comment on their, on their pictures. Uh, on their Instagram stories, uh, like their stuff, and uh, basically... Engage. Yeah, <laughs> engage. Engage to be engaged with. Uh, that way you get you know, on people's minds. Uh, I mean, think about it this way. Like, when, when someone comments a legitimate you know, comment on our Instagram page, mm -hmm. like, we go and look at their profile picture, mm -hmm. or their profile. Uh, we check them out, we see what, you know, what they're all about. Um, and if they have some cool stuff or if it intrigues me enough, like, okay, I'm either gonna keep you in mind, and if you keep doing it constantly, like, you're gonna be on top of their heads, like, constantly, you know? Yeah, yeah that's actually, that was, uh, that is the absolute best thing you could possibly do. Uh, so that, post frequently, start getting into actually posting, um, and then figure out which ones get the most engagement, and I would run small ads to reach more people uh, to really kind of start it and kindle that fire. Um, but definitely, definitely have to actually post, but more importantly, uh, if you only post twice a week, that's great, um, it's starting, but absolutely engage. Spend most of your time engaging, because uh, your guys' audience is probably gonna be mothers, uh, they're on Instagram. Go and engage with their stuff. It doesn't have to be even kid related, but engage with mm -hmm. them. Yep, absolutely. All right, let's hear your tip for us. Our tip for families searching for childcare is to make sure and look at all of the schools out there. Make sure you're looking at safety features as well as the educational aspect. But really, the heart and soul of the program is the people. So when you search all of the different schools, make sure that the people you talk with, the children that you see happily playing, that's where you feel like your child will be most at home. Look for a solid school family. Yeah, I absolutely agree. I mean, obviously we don't have kids, but uh, I would think that, I mean, even with any organization that we want to work with, we definitely want to, you know, go and see how the people are like. Mm -hmm. um, and that's a, a huge factor when we're working with other people. And I think it should be a huge factor when deciding, you know, where your kid is going to be taken care of. Right. Well, I was going to say, especially a kid. Yeah. There's, there's even some family members you don't necessarily trust to mm -hmm. watch your kids. So having a good environment. Um, and I, I like that you guys have challenged people to go and um, to test out other places too, because that really just shows that you're confident in your guys' abilities to take care of kids. So go and look at other people too. Mm -hmm. so. All right. And today's question of the day is, which web browser do you prefer and why? Google Chrome. All right, Krista, thanks a lot for coming on the show. We know you really enjoyed this episode. Um, make sure you share it because we talked about it. But uh, anyway, if you're a business owner and you want to get free Facebook advertising, all you have to do is go to bitbraining.co forward slash tip for tip and we'll get you guys on the show. See ya.